Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to include a full height fixed sidebar on your blog post template. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, you need to download the layout and you can find it by scrolling all the way down here. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded the files and they're all on my computer. So the next step now, once you've downloaded it, you want to unzip the folder. So once you unzipped it, you're going to have a single file which we can install by coming all the way down here and then hovering over Divi, click on Theme Builder, click on Portability. Now, let me show you where my uh, file is. So here it is. Next, you want to click on uh, Import. So I'm going to click here on Import and make sure these two are selected so you can override any templates. So this is the file that I unzipped. So what you want to do next is to just drag it over here, click on Import DV Theme Builder. Excellent. So now that it's imported, this is going to be applied to all the blog posts. But before we can go in and uh, see what this design looks like, we are going to uh, take a look at the current status of the blog post. So over here, I only have one. So let's view it. So you can see now that this looks quite basic and it does not stay fixed over here on the right. Okay. So that's what we are trying to resolve here. Okay, so back over here now, all I have to do is to hit save changes. And then when I come back to my blog post, if I refresh this, you're going to notice now that we have a bit of a style now. And when we scroll, you notice that over here, our sidebar is static. It is not moving at all. So I can pretty much go up and down and this will remain the same. Now, let's say this layout here is not really what you want to go with. Let me show you how you can go in and customize this and uh, make it pretty much look the way you want. So to do that, you want to come back over here to your uh, theme builder. Click on uh, this pencil icon on uh, your post template. Right. So let's start off with uh, taking a look here at our main module here, which is the post title settings. Okay, so in the post title settings, what you want to do is to come over here to uh, the background and uh, you can see here that we have an image, but the image that is added here is our featured image. So you can see here that this is dynamic. So whatever featured image you add to any blog post on your site will pretty much appear over here. So that is how it's added. We also have this text here, which we can adjust by clicking here. And uh, first of all, you can change the font. So let's say you want to go with, uh, say, this one here. Now, just by doing that, this has now updated my font. Uh, we can also change this to any other font. Now, you know, my favorite is Poppins. So I'm just going to go in here and search for Poppins. And you can see there it is showing. Now, if you want to change this to just bold, this is how you update it. Now, we can also change the color by coming over here. And this is where you can just change your colors. And also the size can be adjusted by uh, clicking here on these little arrows. So it's up to you how you want this to look like. Now, I can see here we have rounded corners. Let me show you how you can go in and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to border. And we can see here that we have 15. So you can bring this down to about 10 or even as low as seven uh, to just smooth this out a bit more. So this is where you make your customizations for this main image area. OK, so I'm going to close out of that. And next, I'm going to come over here now. So this text module here has our post title settings as well. But what we can do is to come over here to elements and show uh, some elements and remove some. So right now we have show author, which is here. So we can disable that and you can see now it's just showing the categories. We can also show the date by just adding it over here. And then you can change your format over here. Okay, so let's get rid of the date. So this is where you'd customize this. Now, let's say you want to go in and change the fonts and so on. You just click here on this pen brush icon and this is where you can change your font. For example, let's choose Poppins. We can then go and change our color. We can change the size over here. 
and uh, we can reduce the letter spacing as well. So you can see this is very easy to go in and customize. So I'm not going to commit to that. So I'm just going to move over to the next part. So this is our post content settings. So there's a lot that needs to be done here. We can go in and change our font here for the main paragraph. So here we have Leto and uh, we can also add some line height because right now it doesn't look well spaced. OK, so we can just change it over here. We can also change the font for our paragraph text over here. So if you want to change this to Poppins, for example, you can see it has been updated. And also uh, we can change our colors for our text. So we can go black or we can just go light gray. It's pretty much up to you what you want to add over here. OK, so I'm going to close out of here. And uh, let's say you want to change these headings. Again, let's go back in so I can show you how to do that. So to change the headings, just click on this paintbrush tool. And this is going to take us to all our headings. And all of these can be adjusted across here at the top. So if the first one here is heading one and we can change the size. We can change the colors just like that. So size wise, we can reduce this perhaps to about 40 and move on to the next one. So you can either click on this pencil icon, on this pen brush icon, or you can just uh, navigate through all the headings here. So you can see that I have heading three, which is this one here. And if I change that, you can see that this has been updated. Okay, so that is how we update this. Now we can also adjust the borders here. I know they're not very visible, but if you wanted to adjust the borders there, you can just come over here to border and we can play around with this, reduce it up to your desired value. All right, so I'm going to close out of here and continue on. And now we have the comments area. And again, it's the same thing. Click here on this gear icon to go into your comment settings. And to start making changes to this, the quickest and easiest way is just, just, just to click on this paintbrush icon. So this will take us directly to our comments count text. We can change our colors. So I'm going to close out of here. Now let's take a look at the most important part, which is over here to the right. So this is uh, how we had this fixed. So let's take a look at this. So uh, we're going to start off here with uh, our search. So if I click here, this is our sidebar. And as you can see, this is our widget area. So we're just adding all our widgets over here to the right. Okay. So this is our sidebar. We can go into our design and change a few things here. So our alignment here is left. And we can change our font here. So right now we have light. We can change this to regular. So as you can see, as I'm updating this, this is a pretty much updating everything here because this is my sidebar that I'm playing around with. So you notice that when I change my color here to black, all those titles are changing to black. Okay. So that is because this is our sidebar. Okay, so let's say you want to change uh, the text, the body text here as well. You can go in and change this to medium. And you can see here that it is updated. So this is where you'd make your changes to the sidebar. And once you're happy with that, you can just hit save. And pretty much we are good to go. Now you may be wondering how this column here is fixed. So I'm just going to go into the second column here, click on advanced. And then I want to come over here to position. So the main thing here is this is fixed. OK, so this is where it's fixed and that is why it's staying in position. OK, so if you want to at some point maybe remove this, you can just click here and say default, for example. And when you start scrolling, you can see that it is not fixed. OK. But let's just bring this back to fixed. And once you do that, you can see now this will just pretty much stay in place as we are scrolling. OK, I'm just going to close out of here now and uh, save my template. Now, when you uh, save your template, all your changes will be applied to all your blog posts on your website. So if I refresh here, I'm sure I've made a few changes here. Um, yeah, there we go. So you can see it's still fixed there on the right. So this is how you go in and customize this blog post template.
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.